In this video, we're going to take a look at working with the duotone with color, which is like the duotone split, but instead of splitting the invert, we pull the color and use that for the split. So we get the grayscale of the black and the color to work with. And this is really one of my favorites because you can do so many things with it, working with the color element. Let's take a look at how this works. What we do is we take the original image, we pull the black, then we pull the color. So we do a, a basic separation. The color is then converted to a grayscale. Then the color is converted to a monochrome and the black is converted to a monochrome. And here it is combined. Now here it is set up as kind of a blue, but it will by default always be a red. And you can change that or the background to any color you want. These are separate components. Once again, you can use the textures and things like the split duotone. I'll hit Control Z to move that back. Now, once I've got that set up, you can see what I can do with that. Playing off the color of the green in the light green shirt and making the red into like a flesh tone and keeping my black, I've got a nice effect with some flesh tone in just a few colors here. This would just be a two color print if the logo was the same color as the black but yet look at the effect you would get compared to working with, say, Vector. Same thing here, more of the same, different color, playing off the yellow in the shirt as the highlight, and here it is as on white. And some images are done so well that they're very easy to work with. For example, this basketball player as a duotone color on the shirt. He looks just like the image, but yet he's just two colors. That's it and I'll hit Control Z and move that back. And here we see it once again, working off the yellow of the shirt. And the yellow provides a really nice highlight in the black. And then we've got the color and of course the vector for the design or the logo. And here we are on the green, you can see. So we're really working off the color of the shirt, the black, the color shirt providing the highlight. So when you're going with a dual tone with color, you want to use a lighter garment because that's going to be your highlight. You've got your black and you've got your color. And we can see how that works. Now, in our object manager, you'll see these as, and I'll go to the object manager, you'll see these just so you can recognize them. You'll see these as the split with color foreground and the split with color background. So that's your dual tone split background. And that's in the back and that's black. And that's your foreground, and you can see that that's an orange. So really interesting how you can work with these using the shirt color, the background color, and the foreground color, and get some amazing designs and looks working with the duotone with color. And that's how that works. So it's very easy to work with because all you need to do is just take a shirt, for example, go to the original. I'll bring that over here and I'll bring up my color factory and I'll go to the duotone with color and I'll run that and that will appear offset up here I'll lasso that select that and put that on my t-shirt right there you can see that now that's set to a red in the foreground click off click on select the red go to my color docker here I'll go to the show color views and I'll bring that up into an orange to get like a flesh color look with that off of the green as you can see right there now I can go click off click on that hold down alt and I'll be able to select the background object you can see that's black I'll go to the fill now that's gonna be in the outline excuse me and I could start to mess with that and make adjustments to that as well. Bring that into a blue, or a darker blue. And you can see that effect. And I can really lighten that up and do a lot of things with that to create some very awesome designs in reality, working with this with very few colors. And I'll move this back over. And then you could bring in your logo text and you could set up these designs very quickly and very easily working with them as the duotone with color. 
So that's how the Duotone with Color works. Do some experimenting with that. You can create some amazing designs and effects, especially when you get into working with a vector like we did with the monochrome, etc. We'll wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.